Greetings humans, this is Aramis from Archil Archives and I finished Dunkalia book one. <laughs> this video is probably gonna go up the same day I post my May recap video because <laughs> I just, I, I was supposed to edit the, that video yesterday, which would have been June 2nd, but I was this close to finishing the book. So I threw all my other projects to the side, just flung them to the side, and I wrote. And I wrote and I wrote and I got 7,541 words done yesterday to completely finish Dunkalia. It's at 50... a laptop. It's at 52,749 words um, as a total for draft one. And I wrote those over the course of 10 days. The entire first draft. Well, it was actually 10 days of writing over the span of 12 days because last Friday and Saturday I didn't write, but Sunday to Thursday and then this Sunday to Thursday. So two, two five day periods, 5,000 words a day. I got 6,000 one day last week and I got 7,500 yesterday and it's done i have never finished a book this fast before and actually i wouldn't say it's hard i i thought it was going to be harder i set this goal just to see if i could and i didn't expect to actually accomplish it but i did i wrote fifty-two thousand words almost fifty-three thousand words in the span of 10 days on averaging 5,000 words a day. Now, uh, every night I went to sleep exhausted. Um, creative work is definitely draining in a way that physical work isn't. Uh, for instance, just this Sunday gone, I spent two hours in the yard cutting down grass and stuff. Um, and I didn't feel tired after that, but two hours of writing? That's tiring. Not the bad tiring, but definitely it feels like you did a mental workout. Um, but I didn't. I don't think it would have felt that tiring if I wasn't also uh, editing Goldfinger Book Two. So next week, once I'm, because today I'm going to finish editing Goldfinger Book Two. Um, it's Friday today, and from Sunday I'll start focusing on doing the second draft of Goldfinger book 3. So I'll just be focusing on that one book. So no editing. And I don't th I'm probably going to try to get 3,500 words per day. I still want to finish the book this month in June. Now that I know I can write a, a whole first draft in the span of two weeks. I, I, used, I used to give myself six to eight weeks per book to get a draft done because, you know, editing might take longer or shorter depending, but that's what I used to give myself. But now that I know I can do it in two weeks, I think I'm finally going to be able... I, I finally broke through the writing rut, and I'm going to be able to, to get through some of the books I have. I have so many books to write, so many stories, and oh, I should probably talk a bit more about Don Kaley itself and the experience of writing 50,000 words in less than two weeks. Um, I did not stick with the outline. I stuck with the basic outline, but because, again, the role, I, I mentioned this in the other story, the role of one of the characters changed from antagonist to second protagonist. Um, so I'm going to have two stories coming, running side by side, and they're going to interweave over the course of the series. Um, Cults are a thing. It's, uh, I don't know how to, how to explain without giving away the spoiler, but that's going on. And then my mythology surrounding the dungeons themselves have changed a bit. Originally, they were supposed to be like entering a video game dungeon, but now because I've changed it to be like entering instances of a destroyed world, that I'm going to try to have the dungeons themselves tell a story about this world that was destroyed and everyone was turned into monsters. 
so for instance the last dungeon that they challenge in this book takes place in a hotel and a dungeon before took place in an office building um, another one took place in an actual dungeon with the skeleton of prisoners so i'm really playing around with the concept of the dungeons and i think i'm definitely gonna have to go back and take a look on leveling systems so that i can sort out the leveling because i want to have originally i was going to have about you know level 1 to 50 but i've shortened it to be level 1 to 20 because a big numbers are hard for people to to understand fully in their mind. Um, I think I mentioned it in another video that I generally like to stick with level 1 to 10 because um, that's very easy for the reader to, to grasp. Once you understand what one of those numbers mean, it's easy to understand what the rest would be in relation to that versus like if it was level 1 to 100. Uh, so I like to stick with small numbers, but because of how this story is structured and how many dungeons there are and the whole culture surrounding um, challenging dungeons, I think what level 1 to 20 makes a bit more sense. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and Calypso's story and relationship with the with her old friends kind of changed a bit as well because um, they were supposed to be basically just evil make evil villain and they were supposed to die at the end of the book but then as I was writing it I was like nah no no I can do better than this I can give my readers something better than this they probably do want an evil villain to just to just hate and they will get that in the form of another character but the villain in this one kind of wanted to be a bit more complex because of how this fits into the backstory of one of the main characters. So I kind of changed it and um, you're gonna see them pop up again over the course of the series and I think that would be really really cool. Um, they're the ones who stabbed Calypso in the back literally. Um, Figurative, figuratively and literally they tried to kill her and that's the reason Calypso got trapped in a key. Um, that's not a spoiler, she says it early on in the story. Um, the reasoning and stuff behind it is something we find out, um, the events leading up to it because uh, over the course of the story we find out that there was more at play and that while the thing that that broke the, the straw that broke the camel's back was something that had been building for a time there were other things that had both that it, they were being played both of them both sides and it caused confusion and both sides were like to calypso and her friends so that fits into the world plot that Neris and her gang are also investigating. So again, there's I, I think in the plot, but the, the main plot of the story is still very simple. I like to have the characters have simple goals so that the reader understands, okay, this is the goal of the book, and this is what we're building up to. No. I wrote how what was the quality of this first draft? Was it awful or was it good? And I have to say that I wouldn't let anybody read this book, but it's main it's not because the story itself is bad and I have some scenes that I can't I don't think I'm going to change. Because once you get into that flow state, those scenes tend to be the best. The flow state scenes. So good. Um and there are some scenes with Ash and Ophelia that some conversations between the two of them that are definitely going to change. There are some training scenes with Ash and Calypso that are not going to change. And the final battle, because I had already had the whole thing planned, for the most part, um, I can't see myself changing much of that. But because, again, the, the shift in character motivation for Neris, I'm going to have to 
change up a few of her scenes with Ash, especially the first scene where they enter the first dungeon for the very first time that kind of kickstarts the, the story. And um, because she's now a protagonist, I'm going to have to write her storyline because that's a storyline that's going to be taking place in the rest of the world apart from Ash's and Calypso's goals. Also, I might change Calypso's name. Also, also, I didn't name most of the characters, so they're just blank lines. So while I am aware of who is speaking when, I doubt somebody reading the book would be able to follow. They might be able to follow because, you know, context clues, but I, I think I definitely need to smooth out those, add in the names. Um, I'm definitely going to do what I would call a soft rewrite because I'm going to be keeping some of the scenes. Uh, most of the times when I do a rewrite, I do a complete rewrite. Everything is typed back into the story. Even if there's a line that I like, I'm not going to copy and paste. I'm going to type things right back. Um, but in this one, I think I'm going to... I'm going to, I'm going to have entire scenes that I'm just going to copy and paste because I think it came out really, really good. Again, I love the scenes with Ash and Ophelia. Um, I think those scenes came out probably the best in the story, so those are definitely staying. And then that scene where they went into this one particular dungeon that I can't tell you about, that's going to that's gonna be, remain apart from maybe me adding in some more description. So, I actually think that considering how quickly I wrote this story, the quality was there. I can't see... Um, okay, so for instance, it took me, what, two years to write a data book five, and I re rewrote it like three times. And the final version, I really like how the final version came out, but the first and the second draft of th that book was not the quality was not as high as this book and those books took me months to write versus this that to be less than two weeks so i don't actually see a difference in quality based on the length of time i took again i like i've mentioned in the other video that i think that i do want to try to get up to five thousand words being um my average daily word count uh, because for since the beginning of the year till now, 3,005 has been my average daily. So I think 4,000 is, uh, over the, the few days, the first 3,000 were easy to get, 3,005. They, I got those in the morning, usually. And it was the last 1,500 that tended to give me the most trouble, which makes sense if I'm already used to writing 3,005. The, the extra is going to give me a bit of trouble, but I still like how things came out. The only, well, the biggest problem is that I, <laughs> because I don't have much friends, I, I live in Jamaica, literacy is not something that's very important here. And because of that, most of the people I know don't read at all, and they're very proud of the fact that they don't read. Um, my mother is a, is a literacy and numeracy special ed teacher, and oh, she is struggling right now. <laughs> Imagine she's teaching grade two and she's going to be doing pull-out classes for grade three and four and these kids cannot write their own name. That is how bad the literacy and numeracy in, in this country is. Um, the people she went to university with, half of them didn't even learn how to read and write until they were in their teen years. So, yeah. So I, I don't have a lot of people to talk to about the about the story and I don't know any writers in real life so when I texted one of my friends and I said oh I got 5,000 words today I'm 25,000 words into the story now she texts back and asks is that good or bad I was like just took the wind straight out of my sails by asking me to explain it so yeah it's a little frustrating because I even this morning um, I, I wrote the last bit of the book last night and I was just so tired because 7,500 words was a lot and I also spent a good bit of the day trying to get the washing machine working because we had like five power cuts. It was ridiculous and every time the power cuts, the, the, you have to reset it and then it stutters and it was just annoying. 
Oh, so I, I just closed the laptop and I put it down and this morning I was like, oh, you know, I finished the book yesterday and my mother was so busy. I, I don't even know if she registered what I said and my dad was just like, okay. So yeah, that, that again, it's like just popped my bubble. <laughs> so that's a little frustrating, but at least I have this YouTube channel. So yeah, I think it was fun. It was a good challenge. Um, probably not going to do it again when I have editing to do. I think that is really what caused the most problems and slowed me down the most is because I was also editing at the same time. And yeah, I think I'll just stick to either a lower word count with writing, like do 3000 words in the morning and editing in the evening. Or if I'm going to do 5,000 or more words for the day, then I'll just do writing for the day. That's what I think would work out best for me at my current skill level. So, still waiting on the battery for my laptop, so I can't publish Goldfinger yet. Been having some shipping problems in Jamaica, and I don't even think we have an Apple store here. Or if it is, it's probably in Kingston. And it will cost me more to go to Kingston than to order it online and have it shipped here and pay customs on top of that. That is how expensive it is to get to Kingston, but hopefully I'll be getting it soon, which means Goldfinger will be published, hopefully, by the end of the month. Uh, it's already done. It's done. I have the book cover. I've finished editing it. It's done. And Dunkalia is not going to be published for now. Uh, I could edit it completely. I could rewrite it and within two months have it at what I think would be a good quality for publication where I think the readers would really enjoy it and there wouldn't be anything that would pull them out of the story but I don't like to publish the first book if I don't write the other two books. I like to have three books written. Um, I did the same thing with Adata. I wrote the first three books before I published the first one. Uh, Goldfinger I am going to I wrote the first two books and the first draft of the third before I'm going to publish the first. Um, Haley Storm, the entire trilogy, was finished before I published the first one. So again, I oh, and season one of Nexus Delivery Service and Soul Alliance of the Veil were all written, all six episodes. I actually started the second season for Nexus Delivery Service before the first one was published. So, uh, um, because I, I explained in other videos that sometimes you're writing book three and then you realize oh i should have really foreshadowed it in book one like the fact that tobias in goldfinger was previously married i kind of had to work that into book one so i'm really glad i did not publish goldfinger book one until now but i think i have everything mostly sorted out so i'm done with book one almost done with book two gonna be done with book three and with duncalia i want to have book two and three written, at the very least have the first draft of book two and three written before I start getting this up to publication. I know, I did, I've said this before and I'll say it again, my biggest fear is for a reader to say that they're disappointed. If you don't like it, it's a taste. If you love it, um, my ego will feel very happy. It loves being stroked. Uh, but if you're disappointed, that makes me feel like I failed as a writer. I just, I just don't want to get that that reaction. I want you to either love it or hate it. I want the emotion to be there. So definitely gonna keep working at this and I'm gonna get this to the best quality that I can at my current skill level. Always, always try to do it the best that I can. Even So even when I'm looking at Haley Storm that I published when I was, what, 19 or 20? I look back at it years later and I think, I could have done this better. And then I have to remind myself, no, at the time, this was the absolute best that I did. Of course, I'm gonna look back years later and think, oh, I can write this better if I wrote it now. Because if you're not improving, that's just, what are you doing if you're not improving? So I have to keep reminding myself of that, that I'm trying to do my best right now and that every book is better than the last. That's that's my goal at the moment, to make every book better than the last. Uh, I think that's it. I've rambled a lot, but 
It's done. <laughs> My two-week challenge is over. In less than two weeks. That's good. I I didn't think I was going to make it, but I'm so happy I did. I just realized that I didn't turn on the light, so it's, I, I really hope the video isn't dark. I'm not I'm not re-recording it, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna get the same video if I re-record it. So I'll see you in another video and I'm hoping to keep you updated on how the stories are going to go. Like I said before, I have other stories that I'm going to be writing. Um, Don Kelly is just one series. I also have The Fifth Realm, The Gaia Glitch, uh, Season 2 for both Nexus and Every Service and Solar Alliance of Nevea. But you can read Season 1 and all the other books I mentioned on Amazon. It's on Kindle Unlimited, so if you have a Kindle, Kindle Unlimited subscription, uh, you could check them out. I will leave the link in the description. Um, I was going to say which one you should try first, but I kind of love them all. Um, yeah, I can't tell you which one to try first, but I hope you, I hope you can find something that you like there because I write very widely and I have fun writing, so I really hope you enjoy them. And I'll see you in another video. Later.